Even after implementing the best of the best quality management systems, people still kind of wrangle with the whole idea of different data sets that they work with. And it's a real issue from which a lot of competent executives are suffering. Since not all sets of data are equal, understanding the types of data and how to use them is always very important. Did you know the type of data you are dealing with can precisely point out which tools you should use? So, it is a must to fully comprehend what type of data you are dealing with. Usually, in quality control management, two types of data are mainly used to assess the quality of an item, attribute data and variable data. In the world of data, there are things that we measure and things we count. If you can meaningfully add or subtract the values of the data, then you are working with what is called variable data. The name variable refers to the concept that this type of data can bear any value, like the temperature reading on a mercury thermometer. Variable data is usually used to measure physical characteristics such as width, length, time, strength, thickness, pressure, and so on. A good definition of variable data is that it can be measured by some measuring device such as a stopwatch, scale, or measuring tape. The benefit of variable data is that they usually provide much more information and tell you many things that attribute data can't. Suppose you want to test the profitability of an entirely new product on the market. Attribute data can only imply the possibility of profit or loss. But with the help of variable data, you can check the performance of the new product under different time frames, gather more customer-oriented information, and have a continual graph of profit and loss of that new product. Variable data can give all the answers you need. Now, let's talk about attribute data. Attribute data can be counted and further refined into discrete numeric data. Attribute data acts as binary and can be said as yes or no, good or bad, hot or cold, right or wrong, pass or fail. In short, attribute data is something that can be counted in terms of numbers or can be described either as yes or no for recording and analysis. Attribute data are usually collected and applied when standard measurements are difficult to acquire. Variables can have an infinite string of values, but attribute variables can only be sorted into a few categories. That's why this type of data doesn't connect well to numbers, such as color or taste. Attribute data is a good choice if you're looking at such binary conditions. Attribute data simply categorizes the outcome as defective or not defective. However, in variable data, you will measure how bad each defective product is, such as 10%, 20%, and so on. At this point in the video, we hope you have a clear understanding of variable data and attribute data, along with the benefits of each. Also, how an organization can fulfill the management's and customers' expectations by employing these different kinds of data.